many ecosystems in the world, fire is as natural as rain. We expect fires in our ecosystems just like we expect rain to fall. Fire is often seen as a destructive force because it's not very easily under people's control and because it can cause damage and it can result in loss of life. And the question is, how can we use fire in a way that is good for the ecosystem and also prevents damage to property and loss of life? In the savanna areas, we burn to keep the trees down because trees and grasses are sometimes a little bit competitive in these environments and the fires, the grasses bring the fire and the fire keeps the trees down. So fire is what maintains our savannas. In systems uh, like the Feinbos, the terrible fires in Neisna, we'd want to do prescribed burns to manage the fuels so that when the wildfires come, they aren't as damaging and big and dangerous. Here in the grassland, the fuels are always quite low. So we do prescribed fires for more ecological reasons. A couple of years ago, Sally Archibald needed a block burn in the high felt. She's been burning block burns in the low felt for years, and she wanted to do a comparative study. And I said to her, I could probably organize a block for her, a site. Um, but the only condition would be it's at a sculpture park, so she'd have to burn an image. So the aim of our research was to make landscapes that grazers like. And we were using small fires to do that. Once you burn a fire, the new grass that comes up is very tasty. So the animals come and then the animals put their dung there and they graze some more and they create what we call a positive feedback. So the more animals you have, the nicer the environment is for the animals. So we are trying to create a grazing lawn using small fires. The image was inspired by the entomologist that's on site here today. Um, it's a grasshopper and a locust facing each other. So the image was drawn uh, from original specimens. I photographed them, traced the lines, simplified the image, made sure with the surveyor that it's plottable. We had to do some sort of foreshortening because of the incline on the landscape you know, stretch areas that goes over a hill and so on. Um, and then they came with a team of four guys over two days and plotted out the whole image with dropper poles, quite straightforward. Tie the danger tape around and then the working on fire guys are following that guide. I fall grasslands are generally unpalatable grasslands. Um, they have, as you can see, these tall grasses, um, which are really uh, not nutritious to, to grazers. Um, so we are trying to um, see if we can actually manipulate this landscape and make it, uh, turn it into a short landscape. It's very exciting for me as a scientist to work at the scale of a landscape and also for Hanali.